Hey everybody, 2020 Eagle Man here today with another box break. Today I'll be opening up 1995 Upper Deck SP. This is a pretty cool box of cards. Uh, it is not a complete hobby box. There, I think there should be 32 packs in this box. I think I only have 26 or 28 or so, but uh, not 32. Um, I kind of lost count after after a few, but. Uh, only 32 packs, uh, 8 cards per pack. Looking for some pretty awesome cards and some inserts and some big names in these. So very excited to open this up. Let's go ahead and get started with the first pack. Love the old school style packs from Upper Deck. Let's see what we got. Oh, there's die cuts in this one too. I forgot. So we'll flip through them. Oh boy, they're going to be every which way. Luckily they aren't stuck together. I love the look of the 95. Uh, Platinum Power insert. Raul Mondesi. We've got a Wade Boggs checklist there. It's pretty cool. And then Jay Bell to finish it off. So I think the die cut is just part of the base set. I don't think it's like a parallel variant of it. But I'll make a stack of inserts and bases over there. Kind of move this over. All right, there are some pretty cool inserts in this. Uh, there are, is a very rare insert set that can be found. So we got Marty Cordova there, Manny Ramirez. There's a Wade Boggs. Eric Bell, J Bell. Ooh, Barry Bonds base, very nice. So we've got a Bonds base. I'm gonna put him in a sleeve real quick. I think the, the big base card in the set would be the Hideo Nomo rookie card. That'd be a really cool one to get. We've got Ray Lankford on the back. Let's see here. Wilson Alvarez, David Cohn, Jerry Steinbach, and Ray Lankford. Not a big pack there. So that one insert set, I, I, I'm blanking on the name of the insert set, but I think it's one of the insert cards can be found in one in every 70 packs, which is pretty crazy. So if I managed to pull one of those, that'd be awesome. Jay Buhner. And nothing much in there either. This is classic 90s Upper Deck SP. So, so cool. Such a cool set. There's Roger Clemens. Nice Clemens base. Followed by a Mark McGuire. So, pretty hot pack. And then a Bill Swift. We've got a Platinum Power insert. That's of Matt Williams. And a Freddie Garcia prospect. And then Tony Gwynn. Wow. That was a great pack. I will. Uh, Excuse me for a moment while I sleeve up these cards. Of course, I will always do a recap at the end of the bigger cards that I get or that I might get from these boxes. You never know what you're going to get. And then we'll put the cleanse in real quick. I like to put the more valuable cards in sleeves right away just to make sure that they are safe. And of course, I'm wearing gloves to make sure that they're safe as well. And to also flip through the cards a lot easier. So we got Jimmy Hurst, Cal Eldred, Harold Baines, Sean Green, Brett Boone, Eric Karos, Phil Nevin. For some reason that card looked different for, for a second to me. I'm not sure why. All right, let's see what this pack has. Acevedo. Michael Tucker, Mark Langston. John Wetland. Jeff Conine. Greg Jeffries. Uh, Tim Salmon. And Matt Williams. I really do like the design of these. I'm not sure how I feel about the die-cut base cards of the top prospects. It is kind of a cool twist that, that uh, Up Deck was going for. But there's another checklist 
So this one looks, actually this one looks a little bit different than the other checklist we got. Um, no, they, no, they're the same. No, they're not actually. If you can tell the difference, this one has got the silver foil to it. This one's got the gold foil. I wonder if it'll say on the back. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably a parallel of some sort. I know that you can get parallels in this set. I'm not sure what they look like. I would expect them to be, like, really obvious. Um, we'll keep going, though. Jeff Conine. Got another Platinum Power insert. This is of Mike Piazza. Paul Molitor and Jay Bell. Okay. So, Mike Schmidt, this is a salute card. That is part of the base set. It's still pretty cool. Frank Thomas, the Big Hurt. Craig Biggio, Greg Maddox, not a bad pack. Nice. It's a very nice pack there. I'm gonna slip this, uh, got these open wax packs everywhere. Put Mike Schmidt, it's a die cut. Ray Durham, the Valentin Carlos Baerga, Kenny Rogers, uh, Todd Zeal, Platinum Power of Juan Gan, Eric Karos, and Ken Hill. So I scored this box for pretty cheap. I want to say about 25 bucks. Got this box a long, long time ago, but 25 bucks seems to be ringing a, ringing a bell in my head. Oh, there's Downey Baseball. It's a cool one. Rafael Palmero. Deion Sanders. Bobby Bonilla and Bernard Gilkey. So yeah, I got these packs for pretty cheap. Definitely less than a dollar per pack. I was able to score off of eBay. And, uh, not too often. Actually, I have seen these 95 SP boxes going up recently, but I think I got one for pretty cheap. Uh, Kirby Puckett. Another Juan Gan. Larry Walker. There's Mike Piazza. Sean Green. And Dave Clark. So the only insert that we've seen so far is the Platinum Power. And I don't know how many insert sets there are. I think there's a couple, though. So I'll put the Donnie, Donnie Baseball in that. Again, this is not a full hobby box of SP. Only a partial. It's got Freddy Garcia. Dave Winfield. Some beer. There's Jeter. So Derek Jeter, once again, he is in, like, every break of mine recently. Every single box break I've been doing, I've always been pulling a Jeter base, so that's pretty cool. Steve Avery, and then Ozzy Smith right there, and then Eddie Williams. Also a pretty good pack. Put the Jeter and the Smith in sleeves. It's a nice looking Jeter, actually. 1995. Okay, still looking for that, uh, oh boy, what was his name? Now I'm blanking on his name. You know what, when we see it, you know, we're going to pull it now. We're going to see it, and we're going to know his name. Move on. Randy Johnson, one of my faves. Hunter one Acevedo C. Now these look different. These are both prospect cards. This one's got like a silver, shinier thing to it. I don't know. I think that's the parallel. I'm going to have to do my research afterwards, but I'm pretty sure that is the parallel. Okay. Paul O'Neill. Ryan Hunter. Joey Hamilton. So maybe this one is a parallel of some sort. 
because it should be only blue and red and then we get that parallel so i think that would be the parallel that's my guess that's what i would bet on all right chuck knoblock albert bell paul molitor again fred mcgriff uh, Shane Andrews, Carlos Garcia, nothing much in that pack. I meant to put this Johnson in the sleeve. Whoops, gotta be careful with that. There we go. Always, always be careful putting those cards in packs or in sleeves. Alright, Dave Winfield, checklist. Max Fernandez, Tino Martinez. Jason Bates got a Mark McGuire Platinum Power insert. That's pretty cool. Gotta say, I'm not too impressed with the Platinum Power inserts. They're pretty bland. You know, there's no foil to them. They're just like a pretty simple die cut. But they are an insert. Uh, two Andy Beans. So this is definitely the parallel then. Because these... Pull the double here. This one's got the blue foil. It's got the silver refractor foil to it. Kind of hard to see on the camera because the light keeps reflecting it, but... Yeah, this one would be the parallel. So I'll have to take a look at those cards again. See if we got any big name parallels. Uh, Nolan Ryan salute. Pretty cool. Nolan Ryan salute die cut right on top. Tim Raines. Andre Dawson. Moses Halu, Randy Myers, and Rod Beck. That Nolan Ryan salute card is definitely pretty cool. And another salute card. This is of George Brett. So back-to-back -back salute cards. Alan Trammell, JT Snow, Ken Griffey Jr., The Kid... Dante Bichette, Brett Saberhagen, Jason Beer, and Dave Hollins. We'll put both of those, getting some pretty nice names in the last few packs. Really like that Griffey base. So we'll slide the Brett die cut right there. Getting a nice, pretty nice stack of, whoops, let me hit the camera there. Nice stack of big name players. For the recap at the end. That should be pretty good. We we'll still have a handful more packs to go through. So got Carlos Perez, Greg Vaughn, Kim Salmon, Mickey Tattleton, Terry Pendleton, Brett Butler, uh, Mark, <laughs> Mark something, and Robbie Thompson. Okay. Joe Oliver, Robin Ventura, Steve Avery, Charles Johnson, Steve Avery again. So is that a double? Yep, it is a double, but they're parallels. And then Tom Hinkie. Or one of them was a parallel of the base. And I still got a few more to go through. Hoping for a pretty crazy insert, but you never know. You never know. Tony Clark, Cecil, Brady Anderson, Roberto Alomar, uh, Galarraga. Then we got a Cal Ripken Platinum Power. Nice. So the only insert that we've been pulling, uh, we get a Cal Ripken. We got uh, Sammy Sosa for the parallel. Nice. And Scott Cooper. So we'll put the Sosa Silver Parallel. I'm just going to call it the Silver Parallel. I'm not sure what exactly it's called. I'm like 90% certain this is the Parallel with the Silver foil on it. But either way, it is a Sammy Sosa card. Alright, another checklist. That is of Eddie Murray. Followed by the base Eddie Murray. Pretty cool. Um, is this A-Rod? Yes, it is. Alex Rodriguez, base. 1995. 
Barry Larkin, and Dykstra. Parallel would be Will Clark, and then he puts Oklahoma. I said his name completely wrong. I uh, got the A-Rod here, put him in his sleeve. It's a young A-Rod. All right, let's see what we got here. Osuna, Kirk Gibson, Musina, Eckersley, Terry Pendleton again, Jeff Facero, John Noonley, and Glenallen Hill. Nothing much in that pack. Give me a nice stack of base cards, though. This is a pretty cool set that I would love to complete. Whoops, kind of opened that pack weird. Kind of bent the card a little bit. Um... Oh, sweet. Yeah, Hideo Nomo. That was the name. So we got the Hideo Nomo rookie card. Very, very cool. Hideo Nomo base rookie card. The die cut foil. Lou Whitaker. Gary Sheffield. Jeff Kent. Cecil Fielder for the parallel. And then Ken Caminiti. Nice. So we got the Nomo rookie card. From 95 SP. Very cool. I think that's the only key rookie card from the set. I have to double check that. But that would be the big rookie card, and of course we're looking for the big names, which we've gotten most of the big names. Uh, Jose Malave, Kenny Lofton, Jose Canseco, Dean Palmer, Mark Grace, Rondell White, Barry Bonds for the parallel. Very cool. So we've got the Bonds in the parallel. Very nice. Always hoping for a big name player to get a parallel. So there we go. We did get a Sosa in the parallel. Now we got the Bonds. So sweet. Last two packs, actually. Coming down to it. No big name inserts yet, but you never know what will happen. Uh, there's a salute of Cal Ripken. Die cut. Pretty cool. Jamie Key, Mike McFarlane, Will Clark, Chipper Jones. Rule Mondesi, and then Charlie Hayes. So we got the die cut salute of Cal. Very nice. And the last pack here, 95 SP. Do a recap right after this one. Let's see what we get. So we've got Nazi Smith on the back. Curtis Goodwin, Kevin Seitzer. Uh, Tony Phillips, Ricky Henderson, nice. Greg Maddox, very nice. Jeff Bagwell, Chili Davis for the parallel, and Ozzy Smith. So pretty good finishing pack there. Let me put all three of these cards in the sleeves real quick. I'll do this uh, recap. Actually got a decent amount of great cards to flip through. All right. So we did only pull one insert set. That is the Platinum Power insert set, as you can see right here. Didn't put them in sleeves, but uh, they are all die cuts. As you can see, we've got Cal Rifkin, Mark McGuire, Juan Gonzalez, Mike Piazza, Matt Williams, and Raul Mondesi. Only got six of those, but still pretty cool. Again, I wasn't super impressed with that insert set, the way it looks. But uh, here are the key cards. So we got Ricky Henderson... Greg Maddox, Ozzy Smith, Cal Ripken Salute, the Barry Bonds Base Parallel. I think that might be one of the bigger cards uh, from this box. At least my favorite. Uh, the Hideo Nomo Rookie Card, Alex Rodriguez, Sammy Sosa Parallel, uh, George Brett Salute, Ken Griffey, Nolan Ryan Salute, Randy Johnson, Derek Jeter Base, Ozzy Smith, uh, that's a parallel, actually. Didn't even realize that. Ozzy Smith parallel. Don Mattingly. Mike Piazza. Mike Schmidt. And then here are the two parallels. So this one was the parallels of Wade Boggs. And Roger Clemens. Mark McGuire. Tony Gwynn. And the Barry Bonds base. So that'll do it for today's uh, box break. 1995 SP. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys did, go ahead and subscribe for more of these breaks to come. And I'll see you guys next time.